ดีค่ะ Hi guys uh, you can call me p o m p t b p p o n t e d or whatever you prefer okay uh, I'm originally from Thailand I uh, I would like to share with you guys about how I become a nurse in US I uh, original originally from Thailand graduate from Thailand grew up in Thailand okay um, I moved to US 2015 but I would like to talk back how I get started okay um, I grew up in Thailand from the little small village northeast of Thailand it's called Mahasaraka um, then I finished high school I want to become a nurse always dream to become a nurse so I started nurse uh, nursing assistant or CNA in Thailand it's like a short course then after that, I work in the I start work in the hospital, uh, work in the X-ray department, and then I thinking about oh what can I do better? I always want to become a nurse, so I decided to look around to see which university that I can you know go to to um, uh, start nursing um, education. So I found APEC. Um, I applied to AVAC. I got accepted to the program. It's a four-year program for bachelor degree. So uh, everything is in English. It teach in English. The university is located in Bangkok. It's capital of Thailand. Um, so everything um, is in English. Textbook, uh, courses, practicum, everything. Okay. After I graduate um, from AVAC, I apply for Thai nursing license and then I got my Thai nursing license and then after that I um, worked there in Thailand as an ICU nurse um, almost two years and the emergency room nurse um, then I married with American I'm rethinking about moving to US so we decided we go forward move to US so I have to figure it out, find out how can I um, transfer my license or how can I work in Tha in US because I'm from Thailand. I got my education from Thailand. Oh, sorry, the thunder. Uh, anyway, I um, I start to look up on Google, thinking about where which state should I start it. So we decided to start in California because we don't know where we're gonna end up uh, when we actually move to US and we don't know. So we're just gonna try it out. So we pick California. Uh, I started to apply to California and they require CG. Uh, they actually not require CGFNS, but I do it anyway, just because um, it's better for everything in case I want to um, continue my education or um, getting my master degree in US so or maybe in case I endorse to other uh, state then they may require CGFNS so I go ahead and um, apply for CGFNS and then um, doing um, education evaluation I send in paperwork ABAC helping me out for education breakdown and um, cost to course evaluation so um, it's really helpful because uh, everything is in English and I need all the document and paperwork to be done in English. So I also got my Thai license translated to English. Um, and anyway, after I get my uh, CGFNS done for education evaluation, I um, submit all the paperwork to California Board of Nursing and I get approved for, um, uh, to take any practice. It took me uh, five months to prepare to be ready to take NCREX and um, I passed NCREX my first try. I'll talk more detail about it, how I uh, prepare myself for NCREX, how I apply for a job, how I um, you know, improve my uh, career, how I deal with the patient and take care of the patient and um, how to deal with the doctor and how to um, get along with the team here in the US. So anyway, I um, I got approved from Board of Nursing uh, of California.
really funny. I actually take in clicks about take about three months, and then um, I took in click in uh, I took a test in Colorado and I passed the first try, uh, and then after that I endure my license from California to Colorado. But now I live in Florida, right? So anyway, I will talk in more details how to endorse between uh, you know in each state from California to Colorado, Colorado to Florida. What the difference? What the requirement? Uh, it's harder because all my education is um, from Thailand. It's not from US. So everything a little bit complicated, but it's not impossible. Um, anyway, after that, I um, endure my license to Colorado. Uh, but they give me like, um, kind of, um, you can work before you get actual license from Colorado. So I start working right away as soon as I uh, pass my NCLEX. First off, I work with a nursing agency that um, they'll send you to a nursing home or hospital wherever they need nurses. And then during that time, I also apply for a job in the hospital just to kind of like, for a full-time job because I want to get my experience in the hospital. I, um, I got a job in the hospital for uh, working in the ICU. But I have to sign two years bonus with them. Um, so they trained me for six months um, for uh, training, education, um, training with the patient, all the all the requirement that they require for new nurses in the IC. And then, um, but you can quit up to two years. If you quit before that, you're gonna have to pay them back for this course for them to train you. So uh, that's a lot of detail that I will share with you guys. I'll talk more about um, how I become success, uh, how I pass my NCLEX first try, how I prepare. Um, do I really need to um, know English that well to pass NCLEX? No, because I am um, from the village. I not speak English until I uh, go to college or start um, study English in ABAC. But it's not being impossible. I'll share with you guys more. Alright, I'll see you guys next video. Thank you. Bye.